Hi guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is why I have stopped using social media. Um, there is three main reasons, but there might be a couple of small wee side reasons why I've stopped using social media in general. Um, so let's get into it. So the first reason why I have stopped using social media is because of my productivity and I'm going to put in quotes, quote unquote, laziness. So... In general, I've been trying to be a wee bit more productive because I've got loads of work that I need to be doing, uh, not just stuff for YouTube, but for stuff for other things like in the gym and all that kind of stuff and a lot of other things that I've got going on. Um, and I find myself on my phone, you know, scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram, and it goes on and on and on. And then before I know it, I'm there for like two hours just looking through Instagram, it's just endless, mindless scrolling. So obviously that affects my productivity because instead of my brain going, right, let's go, let's get this work done, and then it's done, I sit there, my phone just scrolling, scrolling away, and it's just a complete and utter waste of time. You get nothing out of it. You're giving yourself, you're giving your brain a dopamine hit, and you then be, you become numb to everything else. Um, so that that's the that's the biggest reason why I've stopped using social media and in the hopes that I become more productive and I get things done faster and to a better standard and I do it all at the one time. The next reason is more kind of gym related and that is because I, being a gym person, follow quite a lot of gym influencers and fitness influencers, uh, the likes of like... Um, Alex Eubank and David Laid, Lex Little, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, with seeing them, I see their physiques and all that kind of stuff, and then I compare it to myself, which isn't good considering one of them is maybe not natty. Um, so, for me to want to achieve that naturally, it's going to be very, very hard and maybe impossible. But because, obviously, I'm still on a cut, I'm still losing weight, I've still got quite a lot of fat in my face and round my belly and all that kind of stuff, as you've seen. Um, obviously, it gets in your head and you start to think, oh, maybe I can't do this, all that kind of stuff. So I removed myself from the situation just so that I can't, like, see what they are doing. Uh, and then look at myself and then just feel bad so it helps me mentally as well and I can just get in the gym bang out sessions and then just go on how I look instead of going off what other people look which could be very dangerous and that's why people that aren't ready jump on cycles and it can be very harm harmful to them and to the people around them and the last reason that I've come off of social media is uh, basically to go off grid with people that I have known for many many years that follow me on social media but do not are not subscribed and do not care about my fitness journey and all that kind of stuff because why would I go and say post a picture of me on Instagram and let people see my progress when they don't actually care and then they go and they talk to all the wee groups behind their back the people that care that I already know are already subscribed and I know they're subscribed and that's people that are actually genuinely happy for me instead of people that I, I know that don't actually care and just use it as an excuse to kind of like make a mockery or anything like that but that's one thing I will say as soon as you've got haters you know that you're doing something right and you know that it's just because of their insecurities and the, that they are not taking the actions that you are taking. So if you do have haters, take it as a positive thing. But I also don't want to know about any of that stuff. And um, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of positive people. But the way that I see it, the people that genuinely are curious and that are interested to see how I progress and everything like that will be subscribed to this and will regularly watch this. But why would I want to engage with people that aren't interested? So that's another main reason why I have. 
excuse me, stopped using social media. So on that note, fuck them. Everyone in this channel, we are winners. Getting out the system. Being glorious. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, big arms. Um, so, I, if you are uh, indeed a winner and you're in the gym and you're feeling good, subscribe, leave a comment, I'll respond. So, I'll see you in the next one.